and I'm a Prosper U stylist. And this is my beautiful model, Alex. And today, I'm gonna show you how to use a flat iron and our best practices from Prosper U. Now, first you wanna use a little bit of product, and I'm gonna spray a little lightweight thermal protectant. Now, we pre-sectioned Alex today into our different quadrants. We have a quadrant, the top quadrant up here, and then our sides. This just helps us work very cleanly. And as, as I spin her, you'll be able to see that we have our first section already brought out. Now our tools today is a nice flat iron, so ceramic plates, and a little tail comb. And the tail comb is uh, thermal protected, so you're not going to uh, melt your comb. Now twist Alex around here, and I'm gonna take up my first section. I'm gonna split that in two. And when you start your first section, you wanna insert your flat iron, and you're gonna tap three times, just like that, and then you're gonna start coming down with your flat iron and your comb in a windmill fashion, taking the flat iron out every two inches and reinserting it. And then when you get to the ends, you wanna just make sure that you spend a little extra time on the ends. A lot of times people will rush to the ends and what happens is the ends will start to expand and you'll get a lot of frizz down at the bottom. So you need to make sure that you wanna control that. One other thing, one other tip, is to make sure when you're flat ironing, that you're adding a slight bevel with your wrist. I come in, I do my three taps, and I come with my comb, and I'm actually beveling slightly just with my wrist. Still doing the windmill, and being very cautious on the ends, not to rush the ends. Keep your sections no longer than the length of your flat iron ceramic plates. You want to be sure all the hair in your section is able to fit in the plates to create a smooth and polished finish. I'm working up one side to just behind the ear and then switching sides, but you can work back and forth if you choose. Both will give you the same result. It really comes down to personal preference. Now that we finished flat ironing the back, we're going to move off onto the side. And this haircut was cut with forward graduation. So we're gonna take diagonal sections just like the haircut. The reason you want your flat iron sections to match your original perimeter cutting sections is to help the hair fall into its natural position. Notice, also when I clip the extra hair out of the way, you don't want to twist or bend the hair. This can cause unwanted marks. You'll need to remove those marks with the flat iron in the sections you have left and the sections you have already flat ironed. And now that we've got done with the sides, we're gonna start off with the top and we're gonna direct everything forward. When working through the top, have your client tip their chin down to allow you to really get into the root. You want to be sure that when you flat iron the fringe, you allow the hair to follow in its natural position. Don't force it in any certain direction to create the best results. Through the top, you can also work one side and then the other or both at the same time. All right, and that's my finished style. I'm just gonna have Alex shake it out for me a little bit. And this is just a fun way to style the hair. There's multiple ways to style it when you take it straight. It really compresses the cuticle, really adds a lot of shine to the hair. And the client can easily recreate this for themselves at home. You know, be a teacher, teach her how to do it. Now Alex is ready for, you know, a night out of the town, really fun, sexy haircut with a great style. Great for any hair length and texture. It allows you to create a polished, smooth style. When flat ironing, you want to work in similar sections to how the hair was cut. Spray the hair with a light thermal protection prior to flat ironing the hair to prevent damage from the heat. Section out the top knot from parietal to parietal and clip out of the way. Then split the hair down the back into two sections. Take your first subsection, about one inch in width, and insert the flat iron parallel to the parting. Begin by holding the hair firmly with one hand and tapping the root three times. 
Then work in a windmill fashion reinserting the flat iron every two inches. Bend your wrist ever so slightly as you work to create a natural bevel in the hair. Work with even timing and tension throughout the hair, slowing as you make your final pass over the ends. Allow the ends to cool momentarily in the comb before dropping the hair to avoid burning or startling your guest. Do not comb through or touch the hair after your final pass through the ends. This will disturb the smoothness of the ends, causing them to expand and look less polished. After the hair has cooled, loosely style and position the hair where you want it to be. Encourage your clients to get involved so they can feel the incredible smoothness you've created. So that is my style of knowledge. Thank you very much for joining us. Hope to see you soon.